right side, second row. Cooper Moorhead, Heat.com. Bam, you had pretty much tied your career high for field goal attempts in the third quarter, and then you surpassed it. Were you given a little bit more space in the paint tonight than maybe you were expecting? Definitely. Uh, and also, I made open shots. You know, I made the shots that I usually shoot. That's it. Okay. I'll, I'll leave. We'll go, we'll go to the middle here. Ethan Skolnick, Five Reasons Sports. Uh, Bam, to that end, um, it did seem like there were open shots for a lot of guys in the first half. When you went into halftime, were you comfortable with the process, even if the results weren't where you wanted them? Definitely. Definitely comfortable with the shots we took. You know, I felt like we had a lot of open shots tonight. Uh, ball just didn't go in. That's part of the game, but I feel like our shooters have bounced back. We'll go to the left side, fourth row. Bam, Nick Friedel, ESPN. You'd said before the series started that the key would be to not get Jokic going from a passing standpoint. What can you do to limit that aspect of his game moving forward? Uh, I feel like early in the game, <clears throat> miscommunications uh, caused a lot of our guys to, you know, not talk enough miscommunications and uh, a lot of guys were open in the first half. And I feel like going into to the second half, uh, we definitely got better with the cadence and uh, talked through it more. Left side, first row. Bam, uh, Pat Graham, Associate Press. I guess, uh, you know, a lot of things coming into the series was maybe fatigue and elevation. Do you feel like in game two, you guys have kind of weathered that things and could put that to rest? I, I don't, I, honestly. I don't think that was a part of the game anyway. Uh, <clears throat> I mean, we didn't, I didn't even think about the altitude until you just said it. Uh, but the biggest thing is, I just feel like we just missed open shots. Uh, we took care of the ball. We got it where it was supposed to go. We just missed shots today. Left side, third row. Anthony Chang, Miami Herald, Hay Haywood, Bam. Um, you guys only took two free throws tonight. Do you feel like you guys weren't aggressive enough offensively? Do you think that's kind of the reason for that low number? Let me answer that. Um, yeah, I didn't even realize we took two free throws only, and it was only my two free throws. So um, that was pretty interesting. Um, I think we were aggressive, but we did shoot a lot of jump shots because we were open. But, um, yeah, it's kind of weird having two free throws. I've never seen that before. Yeah, we, see, we made history. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to stay on the left side, fourth row. Bam, West Lamb, WorldWideWest.com. Uh, bam, uh, in regards to the free throws also, and – what, were there any thoughts in terms of the locker room post game about that at all, or Coach Bowman at all? No. I mean, when we got in the locker room and seen the stat sheet, I feel like we were all shocked that we only had two free throws. But <clears throat> we're gonna watch film tomorrow, uh, get our minds wrapped around it, and uh, I feel like we'll shoot more in game two. We're gonna go to the right side, second row. Super Morehead, Heat.com. Hey, would sort of similar to how you got some high-level assignments last series. You got some minutes on Jamal tonight. What's unique about trying to go against him specifically? Mm. Yeah, uh, Jamal, he's a three-level scorer. You know, he can shoot the three, can pull up and get to the rim. Um, just got to make it difficult as much as possible. Um, you know, he's a crafty player, has a good handle. Um, he's in good condition. So, I mean, we just got to just, you know, key, on him, key in on him and just make it as tough as possible for him. Um, and yeah, I'll probably be guarding him a lot this series as well. And we got a lot of different guys who can guard him. So it'll be, it'll be interesting to see, you know, how we do. First row. Uh, Tomer Zarley from Clutch Points. Uh, Bam, how, how do you ask Jimmy this? How do you kind of balance, um, you know, not just feeling your way through a game or a series and um, putting your head down and making things happen as opposed to just taking kind of what they give you? I mean, <clears throat> you said you asked this about Jimmy? Oh, okay. Uh, I mean, that's what, that's what Spo wants us to do. He wants us to be aggressive. He wants us to be assertive. He wants us to make things happen. He wants us to create. And, you know, with that responsibility, we got to be smart with it. <clears throat> and I feel like all the shots that me and Jimmy took were good shots. And uh, we missed a couple. I feel like my teammates missed a couple. But like I said, I feel like we'll bounce back game two. We're going to go to the right side, second row. 
Hey, what, uh, for you, well, Will Guillory from The Athletic. Hey, what, for you, uh, just going from your minutes up and down during the regular season to you're at the point now, like you said, you're probably going to play a prominent role moving forward. Just what's that like for you being on this stage and knowing that you're going to be playing an important role? <clears throat> Yeah, I mean, uh, this is the ultimate, you know, stage, the final. So um, I'm prepared for it. I've been, you know, working, working at this my whole life. Uh, you know, I'm built for this. You know, um, the ups and downs through the season that I've been through, and the ups and downs I've been through in my career. Um, so you know, I'm ready to go. Um, and you know, I'm built for this. Like I said, we're gonna go in the middle, Joe Varden, and then take one more question. Bam, I'm not. I promise, I'm not trying to get you fined. Um, but two, two foul shots to 20. That's. I mean, that's, that's quite a discrepancy, but it doesn't seem like you guys are complaining about the officiating. If I do say, do say something, will you take the fine? Uh, like I said, I just feel like <clears throat> we, we can't even get into that. You know, we can't let uh, them dictate the game. Uh, I just feel like we took a lot of jump shots and uh, we missed a lot of them instead of getting to the basket. Like I said, we're going to watch film and uh, get back to the drawing board. Thank you, gentlemen.